Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the BlackBerry Playbook from Research in Motion. This episode, we're going to talk about BlackBerry Bridge. Now, what is BlackBerry Bridge? Well, if you fired up the BlackBerry Playbook and started to look through the apps, you'll probably have noticed that there's no calendar on it, there's no email, there's not a lot of other things on there that you may actually be expecting from your BlackBerry smartphone to appear on this. Now, one of the things that they've done for security reasons is actually made it necessary to connect to your BlackBerry smartphone to actually get access to those. And to do that, you need something called BlackBerry Bridge. Now, it's worth noting that you need a relatively recent BlackBerry smartphone in order to make this work. You can't use another company's smartphone, and you can't use older BlackBerry smartphones either. You need something from the 8300 series or up. You'll probably want to get something relatively new if you want to make this work really, really well. You'll need something that has BlackBerry OS 5 on board, and you may have to upgrade the firmware to make that happen, even if you do have a model that is theoretically supported. Now this could potentially be a barrier to you if you don't have a new enough BlackBerry smartphone already and you're thinking about getting this but haven't gotten it yet. That means instead of having to just buy one device, you'll probably have to buy two devices if having email and your calendar is essential to you on the playbook and that's one of the reasons you're buying it. To get started with the process, from the home screen, swipe down from the top bezel of the playbook. Now the next part of the setup process assumes that your BlackBerry Playbook is already connected to your smartphone using Bluetooth. If you haven't already done that yet, go back one part in our series and we'll show you how to do that. Then come back to this part and resume the process from there. On the left-hand column, you see an item that says BlackBerry Bridge. Tap on that. If you've already set up your BlackBerry smartphone, it should appear in the list on the bottom right. Tap on it to continue. Now in order to make the connection between your BlackBerry Playbook and your smartphone, the smartphone will need to be running an app called BlackBerry Bridge. If you haven't already set that up, you can do that using the BlackBerry Playbook. When the playbook tries to make the connection to your smartphone to look for BlackBerry Bridge, if it's not there, it'll let you know and give you the option to install it from there. When you click through, it'll give you instructions on setting up the BlackBerry smartphone, including a QR code that you can use to scan. Go to the smartphone and fire up BlackBerry App World. Go into your options and then choose the Scan a Barcode option. Click Continue. And then you can point your smartphone at the QR code on the BlackBerry Playbook, and it'll automatically take you to the download page. Tap Download on the smartphone. Enter your user authentication, and then it'll start to download the application. Now before you're ready to go, you'll need to set up the BlackBerry Bridge application on the smartphone. Find it in your list of apps and tap on it. Go down through the license agreement, and then accept the agreement. Make sure BlackBerry Bridge is turned on, and then you should be ready to go. Go back to your BlackBerry Playbook, go back a couple of steps, and then click on your phone again, and it should initiate a connection. A request will appear on both the smartphone and the playbook. Tap yes at both ends to continue. Then on the smartphone, you'll see a request to accept an incoming connection. Accept this request, and then it'll ask you for a secret code, which will appear on the screen of the BlackBerry Playbook. Once you enter this code in, it should complete the setup. Then once it completes the setup process, you can actually see on the BlackBerry Playbook a new tab under the application menu that says BlackBerry Bridge. When you look through that, you'll see a few options, including your calendar, you'll see your contacts, you'll see email, and you'll see a few other items that didn't previously appear on the Playbook, which you already had on the smartphone. Well, that's a look at setting up the BlackBerry Bridge on your BlackBerry Playbook. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series. We'll show you other ways of interacting with the BlackBerry Playbook. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.